What's up guys, it's Shrek, and I did a video a long while ago about something that I thought was really, really cool in the hobby. It was an interesting development using a kind of patented, uh, I think it's cabinetry device called Fidlock, and Fidlock is... All right. All right, guys, so Jinx is losing her actual mind over on the other side of the camera, and this is going to be a fun kind of casual video anyway, so now you're up here. You're where everybody can see you. Are you happy? You have all the attention you desire from the internet. Where was I? Fidlock. Fidlock is a proprietary patented cabinet technology that essentially lets you magnetically attach different things and lock things into place. And a while ago, I assumed the dude's name was Cameron, uh, but he started a company called Camsters Blasters, and he was selling what he pat or called uh, the Holdster, which was a 3D printed kind of plate that sat as a drop leg on you and let you utilize the Fidlock system to almost video game-esque slap things into place and then yank them out of their magnetized kind of holdings. Now, unfortunately, uh, this just happens sometimes in the hobby. People will get into it as either a senior project or they'll get into it because they're uh, super into their local club or their HVZ or what have you. And I don't really know what happened to Camster's Blasters in this instance, but uh, as quickly as he arrived, he was gone. So a uh, few people had this technology. I know that in particular the FDL guys tried to delve deep into it and it just kind of vanished overnight. So nobody could get the holsters and that's where Ben Teague comes in. Ben kind of sorted through the ashes of Camster's blasters, found out that the best part about it was the use of the Fidlock system and then the worst part about it was honestly the quality of some of those prints. It did not affect me as egregiously as it affected other people because I'm assuming, again, Cameron sent me a version of his holster, which was like kind of a sort of Cordua blend, like mil-spec kind of uh, molly thigh rig with the attachment. And for a lot of people that did not pay extra for that service, he sent sort of a flimsy uh, 3D printed one that, while not terrible, uh, had the ability to break if you ever landed on it wrong in the process of your foamy combat. So what Ben did is he's developed what he calls the Lotus system, which is using the same Fidlock system and inserts, but on the back of each one of these, and you should be able to see here, they're kind of adjustable. So here's one of the Fidlock kind of female or male snap-ons. So those snap in like this, and then of course to remove them, you pull up and out of the Fidlock system. This one either goes on a belt, or I think that you can mount it to your chest rig and kind of throw it there, and then you could mount something like this uh, to it. This is of course a bandolier strap sort of thing, so if you had something like a walkie that you wanted to dangle, you could do that, and then to grab it, you would grab and yank up. Uh, this panel in particular is showing kind of how his Lotus system works, so it's a, an omnidirectional sort of mounting bracket using these screws, which really just kind of sandwich into the plastic. They're not a necessary element. And then this one would fit onto, I think, a Molly system here. Uh, this is, of course, a uh, Molly on this side and then Fidlock on this side. Uh, but the thing that I'm most excited about, because there's a lot of different options in Ben's Lotus system, and he's been showcasing them uh, at a lot of different places. I saw them at RAG, and I thought that they were just fantastic uh, but so while all of these are cross compatible and you could really build whatever you wanted uh, to magnetically kind of attach here this could easily be like a magazine sort of rack that you throw on a chest rig or on a belt or on a bandolier or what have you uh, this is kind of the heart and soul of the whole system is how do you use it to holster sidearms and I think that that will probably always be the coolest facet of it so since we're a little cramped in the workshop I went ahead and I built an FDL Wii. It's actually Arcane 2 in my series. Uh, this was very kind of Ben. He did this in uh, Prusament Carmine Red, uh, which I got to prototype way back in the day. And then I think other than that, it's just a, a black filament. I'm gonna throw this on and see if it works just as well as the Camster Holdster one. And if it does, amazing. And I have a funny feeling that because of how modular it is, because of how easy it would be to tilt the entire system, It'll probably be a little bit nicer, a little bit better. Let's go. All right, guys, so we just finished up this thing, Arcane 2, looking pretty uh, icy, wanted something to kind of really contrast with our uh, OG Wii, and it makes just the slickest. 
never gets old. Anyway, uh, we also printed the holster panel. This one's free on GitHub for uh, Project FDL. Uh, so the holster panel should let us attach very nicely into our Lotus system here. I wish that we had it for the other one so that it matched, but what are you gonna do? So we'll kinda try and find home there. And you, you don't wanna risk it too much with something that's this, uh, this unique and expensive, especially since you can't uh, buy FDLs anymore. Uh, but, um, it seems pretty, pretty reliable. You can kind of hear the click where it locks into place. And then once it's in there, it's actually doing a pretty good job. And then you just yank up to get it off, throw a magazine in, and then throw it back. And that's not too, too bad. I, uh, I really like the kind of tactile feel of like a real holster that, that kind of buckets things. But honestly, I think that this holds better because it can't fall out, if that makes sense. And the fit is good. Uh, I, I wish that Nerf Gear Tactical Manufacturers would give me less of this fabric uh, just because I am a, a thin person and I feel like I'm just wrapping. I'm mummifying myself to get the fit and finish correct. But overall, not a bad fit there. Uh, certainly solid. I like the magnet system. I've always liked the magnet system. This is definitely a more durable print overall. I can just tell you that much. The, uh, the layers uh, are pretty much, I think that the layers are the same layer height, but the shell perimeters are greater. And then the thickness of the overall piece and how it's attaching, uh, it's not under tension uh, with the fabric, which means that you never run the risk of like flexing your quad and it cracking. Instead, it's a, a lot easier to uh, mount onto any sort of webbing or system. The combination of the whole system is something that I know Ben is very proud of, and honestly, I think is really, really cool. It's the kind of thing where if you're already married to a tactical gear kind of setup, I don't necessarily know if it's so good that it's worth converting, but it opens up a lot of options from everything to like slapping things onto your back video game style and them just sticking, to kind of being able to like hover your gear over, to magnetic holding, for magazines and everything. So it like definitely it'll fulfill all of your Mass Effect fantasies if that's your jam. Is it worth porting everything over? I don't know, but as isolated pieces of gear that you can pick up uh, as you go, I think that it's rock solid. Also, I know that Ben is a, a pretty prominent figure out in the, uh, the Bay Area, as well as a pretty prominent figure at RADS, which is the Reno Area Dart Society. And so I think that he's here to stay. He's not uh, quick in and quick out. He's been a nerfer for a long time. So I think that supporting this ecosystem certainly has better uh, longevity than any other uh, magnetic holder system. So Jinx and I are going to cut the video right there, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to learn more about the Lotus system, more about Ben, where to find them, where to buy them, I'll put all of those links in the description box below. Huge thank you to Ben for printing me off one in my signature color scheme. Uh, to everybody else, much love. Nerf on. Jinx out. Yeah? Yeah.